Today in our 2003 Chevy Silverado 1500, we'll be installing the Kurt front mounted hitch, part number 31108. Here's what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch, such as a snow plow, front mounted cargo carrier, or a winch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the front edge of our bumper is six inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 12 inches. We'll now go ahead with the installation. To begin our install, we'll first need to remove the manufacturer's tow hooks. To do that, there are three fasteners for each, one on each side of the tow hook, and the rear fastener here at the bottom. As we remove the tow hook fasteners, we'll go ahead and set them aside as they will not be reinstalled, but we will reuse the manufacturer's tow hook. We'll go ahead and put the tow hook back in place over the attachment points. Now, as we reuse the manufacturer's tow hooks, we'll use the weld nuts built into the tow hook as our attachment points for the new hitch. Now, for our bottom attachment point here in the frame, our new bolt and conical tooth washer will go through the hitch, through the frame, and into the weld nut of the tow hook. The inside attachment point is going to be the new bolt and split lock washer going through the hitch, through the frame, and again into the weld nut. We're now ready to go ahead and put our hitch in place. It's a good idea to get an extra to hand to help you hold the hitch while you install the fasteners. We'll go ahead and put our hitch up to the frame and install the bottom attachment points first. Now, each application will be slightly different, but on applications where you have space between the frame and the hitch, you can add flat washers that are supplied with the install kit. We'll go ahead and slide the flat washers in place, and then our Fastener. Now with our hitch hardware in place, we'll go ahead and reinstall the manufacturer's bolt on the outside of the frame. Once we have all the hardware in place on both sides, we can go ahead and tighten them down. Now with all our fasteners tightened down, we can go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. That'll complete the install of our Kurt front mounted hitch, part number 31108 on our 2003 Chevy Silverado 1500.